keeping Heyman safe, the manufacturer of the highest quality safes on the market today. We thank you for attending and hope this new product segment is informative for you and your business. For today's session, all attendees will be in lecture mode during the presentation. If you have a question during the presentation, we kindly ask for you to please type a question in the questions tab on the right hand side of your screen or you may use the raise your hand feature which is left of your name on the screen. Without any further delay, I would like to introduce to you your host today, Mr. Dick DiVittorio, Vice President of Heyman Safe. Dick? Good morning. Thank you, Tracy. And good morning, AIN dealers. Um, I am Dick DiVittorio, Vice President of Marketing and uh, Operations here at Heyman Safe Company. Uh, Heyman Safe Company has been in business since 1971. I was fortunate enough to begin with the company in 1973, so I'm celebrating my uh, 40th anniversary myself with Heyman Safe uh, this month. Uh, we, are, we have been manufacturing safes in the Central Florida area uh, for those past 43 years and have enjoyed uh, not only a large dealer network, but also uh, serving the community around the Florida area. Our dealers have primarily been the locksmith and the safe dealer uh, throughout the country. Uh, you won't see the Heyman Safe product in any box stores or large retailers uh, since we, as a, a family-run, family-operated business, has also opted to work through a dealer network where we expect you, the dealers, to be able to have a, a more face-to-face, -face, a more down-home uh, connection with your clients, with your customers that you're providing security to. One of the nice things of adding a safe line to your uh, toolbox is that the, the additional peace of mind that you'll be able to offer to the homeowner, to the businessman, to the client that is trusting you for security, trusting you for uh, the entire uh, circle that is available with your security. The safes add an additional physical security in addition to the electronic security that you are currently providing. And so it gives you an additional time and additional um, protection against that forcible entry. I'd like to walk ourselves through the entire product line on the product guide uh, that you see on the AIN website. Uh, here on the front page, I believe, on, on their screen, you should be able to see the product guide for 2013. Uh, I'll be going over some of the differences, some of the advantages of our six brands. Uh, Heyman Safe Company has divided their product line into six unique brands. Each brand meets a particular need and application. As you become more familiar and understand these brands better, you'll be able to see how they apply to your customers' needs and thereby know that you're suggesting and providing the best possible safe for their application. Starting with the product guide, as we take a look at the first line, the first brand that we're going to be discussing is our Dynavault 2. The Dynavault 2 is a fire and burglary chest. And what that means is that it gives us great fire protection, but also has burglary resistive characteristics. It's a price point type product, uh, meeting the need of the uh, middle to lower uh, price point. For the, for the safe, for the security containers themselves. These safes have drill-resistant hard plate. Uh, that's hard plate uh, heat treated to a, a high level, which resists penetration with standard drill tips. Uh, also, spring-loaded relock systems if the safe is attacked and goes into a great deal of, fire, of burglar resistance in addition to the fire resistance available. As you see, the Dynavault 2 is available in three different sizes ranging from something just over the size of a microwave up to the larger 400-pound Dynavault, which gives us a, a nice closet-type uh, security. The next line we go into is the Magnavault line. Now, the Magnavault is our flagship. It's our top of the line. It has a lot of uh, burglar resistance. It's what is called an, a BF, or burglary and fire. This also carries a underwriter laboratory RSC label, which is a residential security container. This label has been, this safe has been tested by underwriter laboratory and has resisted the, uh, the, the strong uh, burglary attacks that underwriter laboratory has put on it and has been awarded this label for security. 
Uh, this has not only the spring-loaded uh, relockers that we talked about in the Dynavault, and it has, still has the drill-resistant hard plate that we talked about in the Dynavault. However, the Magnavault also incorporates a tempered glass spring-loaded relocker. Should penetration be made through the door, through the hard plate, we now hit a plate glass, which has a cable running off of it to a spring-loaded pin, which deadlocks the bolt. This additional security is usually found only in the higher-end jewelry safes and higher-end cash safes. But here we have it in the Magnavault, the BF series. Five sizes are available, and uh, uh, the larger ones, the 2916 up through the 5420, those are the larger and heavier products uh, that will require a little more challenging on the delivery. Moving from the Magnavault line, we get into the cash vault line. The cash vaults are all steel containers. They are what's called a D-rate by the ISO manual, the insurance services offices. The ISO manual rates safes depending on steel construction in their body. All the cash vaults are D-rated, as in boy, D-rated chest, which means they have a solid steel body, half-inch steel door, UL uh, listed lock. And these give great protection for not only um, where we need the strong uh, protection for cash, but also in depository. Those of you that have commercial clients, we would find usefulness with a depository safes or safes that would give us the ability to uh, have drops, armored car pickup, and so forth. The cash vault line would be a great addition uh, to your product offering. It uh, really adds some, uh, some additions to it. From the cash vaults, we move into our floor safes, the Heyman Original Series. This is one of the series that we have numerous patents on and uh, is, is very unique into the Heyman brand. The number one in the floor safe manufactured in the country is the Heyman FS4000 and FS2300. Here, if you I have the audience with your client and the audience with your builder to be able to get the safe in at the time the slab is poured, the FS 4000, FS2300, as well as the other uh, in-floor safes of the original series is definitely the safes that, uh, that you would want to consider. Available with a construction seal that will permanently seal the body during the construction process allows for the safe body to be placed in the slab at the time the slab is poured. Once the walls go up and the uh, uh, house is dried in, later you come and cut that seal off the top of the body and then the door can be installed during the walkthrough and combination set. So at the time that you would be going over the um, uh, alarm panel and how to enter your codes and, and deactivate the alarm with the homeowner, that's when you would be, again, installing the door and setting up the door with uh, the combination and so forth. So it's a great item of very low uh, labor uh, cost and very high profit margins. Uh, the FS2300 and 4000 are the two most popular safes in the country when it comes to in-floor safes. Our Everglades and Flame Vaults are, are two lines, two brands that we're having great success with, and especially in today's political uh, arena, the Everglades Gun Safe, those bottom three you see on the right-hand page, uh, the bottom three um, uh, product listings, the EV5922, 5930 and 5939, those are our gun safes. Uh, they are set up for long guns, for handguns. Uh, they all come with a fire resistance. Uh, again, that ULRSC label that we just spoke about earlier, uh, again, that's uh, another uh, uh, security offering of the Everglades. Uh, the Everglades has a three-spoke or five-spoke brass handle. They come standard with the combination lock, uh, electronic combination lock, and the door organizer. Uh, the Everglades is uh, uh, one of the hardest products we have right now to keep in stock. That's, that's our, one of our challenges with uh, the way the gun uh, industry is going. The flame vaults there to the right of the uh, pictured Everglades, you can see our one hour and two hour flame vaults. Uh, the flame vaults are the fire resistive containers. These are strictly record safes. Uh, not a lot of burglar resistance, but give great fire resistance. Uh, if we're going to be protecting papers and pictures and documents, not a lot of cash or jewelry, the flame vault is a real good 
um, offering for your client. The one-hour flame vaults, uh, those that begin with the numeral one, are all one-hour protection. Uh, they're available in either a combination or electronic setting. The electronic safes are very popular uh, and uh, allow for a safe that's not overly heavy, easy to install on a shelf, bolts down nicely, and gives good uh, protection against fire, against heat. Lastly, I want to talk a little bit about uh, our customer service. Uh, not only are we able to provide you with the security, the, uh, the products, we are also able to provide you with the parts, the background, the um, information to be able to keep these safes up and operational, teaching you how to change combinations, how to service the locks and so forth, so that you have that ongoing revenue stream from the customers is an important part of what Heyman Safe is, is, wants to do with you. Uh, we're open to uh, setting up everybody on terms, on getting the proper type of uh, uh, account set up with you so that you're able to get our safes in your, in your shops, get our safes into your offices so that you're able to put these into operation for your clients. We have a very uh, good freight program. If you're located in the southeast uh, United States, the eight, state, the eight states that we've identified as the southeast, uh, a pallet program allows for uh, any three safes that you ship that will fit on one pallet, freight cost is only $50. If you order as many as five safes shipped to your location, freight is free. Now outside those eight states, our freight program allows for five safes being shipped outside the southeast at 22 cents a pound freight allowance, which allows for a really good um, uh, reduction of your freight cost itself. There's a way that you'll be able to buy the safes and have zero expense in freight by utilizing uh, these, two, these freight programs. Tracy, I think it's time to turn it over for some questions. Uh, I know I've given enough information out there that we should have a host of questions. I've got a lot of stuff to share that uh, I'd like to share with, with these dealers. So why don't you uh, uh, take it to the next step? Great. Thank you, Dick. And again, we want to also let everyone know that this, the catalog that, that Dick is presenting today, you can also find it on our website at aingroup.com under the Heyman Safe in the Partner section. And again, we will open it up now for, for our question and answer session. Please feel free to raise your hand and I will open up your phone line or type in a question in the question section on the right hand of your screen. Uh, I do see a question right now from James. James, I've opened up, your, I've opened up your, your phone line. James Posey? I don't have a phone line. Okay, well you are, you are on. Okay. I just wanted to know about the pricing. I might have been a little late to the party. Do we have a price sheet for this? Um, you sure do. It should be in your packet there, James. Um, the uh, price sheet, your standard discount off of the suggested retail that you see published in the price guide is 50%. So you can look at your uh, price sheet, which is in your packet, and it has that broke out to where it gives you not only the suggested retail, but also your costing. And do you have an idea about how much a builder usually charges to have one of these put into their foundation? The, it's been our experience here in the Central Florida area that uh, the uh, a builder will put this in um, as far as what he charges you. He, he puts it in as they're pouring the slab, and there's no additional cost to put it in. What he charges the homeowner, the uh, cost you see there suggested retail, that's what the homeowner is expecting to pay. And how that's divided up depends on us and the builder? Depends on your relationship with the builder. We okay. deal with you. We, we do not sell to the builders. We want to deal with you, our dealers. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, James. We have a question from Eric Waters. Eric, your phone line is now open. All righty, thank you so much. Hey, we are, um, we're hitting the gun shows pretty hard here in the Northwest. Um, and what do you recommend for uh, pistol safes? What I've been doing is at these gun shows, I've got another safe uh, dealer out here in the Northwest. He's not a manufacturer, but he gives us a little gun safe. We put it in our booth. 
we uh, put a contact on it. We have alarm.com sitting there. It, it's a real nice little package and a nice little show for people that want to protect an individual pistol. What do you recommend for that and what do you have in that line? Sure, Eric. That's a good question. What we are doing, we're developing our CB14, uh, which is a 14-inch cube to, be, to have a biometric uh, combination lock on there, electronic biometric fingerprint reader and uh, giving fast access to into that 14-inch um, cube. That 14-inch cube will have a, a shelf inside uh, with a area for the handgun to set, area for flashlight, tactical flashlight to the left of it, and then ammunition below the shelf. Uh, it's the kind of setup that's going to give fast access, good security, and be something for the kids and um, any anyone into the home uh, unauthorized will not be able to gain access to. We do not have a small single handgun uh, lockable box that goes onto the uh, bedside table or slides in, in between the uh, the bed and the bedside table. We do not have anything such as that at this time. Okay. How about on your uh, larger gun safes? What uh, what are the bolt patterns on those? You know, how many how many bolts are on there, and how big are those bolts that are going through that come out and into the from the door to the safe? What's the size on those? How many? Oh, okay, sure, sure. Those bolts. I thought you meant the bolt down pattern. Um, on the on the bolts themselves, they're an um, inch and a quarter diameter on the uh, bolts. We have them both out the front, the back, the top, and the bottom. So it's all the way okay. around. Uh, we have four bolts out the front and back, and then one top and one bottom on the uh, on the safes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. How are you, Eric? Thank you, Eric. Uh, Dick, we did have the uh, same similar question from Stuart Forsheimer regarding the smaller smaller gun safes. And Stuart, I'm going to open up your phone line in case you had any other questions. Stuart, your phone line's now open. Stuart, I don't hear you. Have you heard him, Tracy? Uh, I did not, but I think that we did answer the question for him. If oh, you okay. have any other questions, Stuart, uh, please go ahead and, and type it in for me. Uh, I do have a, another typed in question from Jay Hutt. Uh, when I bid a job, what items do I need to factor in? Any specialty tools? And what margins are real on the street? And Jay, I'll open up your phone line. Oh, Jay's, Hi, Jay. phone line is, um, Jay's phone line is not able to be open, and at, he wasn't connected. So, okay, if All right. you want well, to go I, ahead and answer I, that, I heard the question, and I'll, I'll try to I'll try to make the uh, try to answer it. If there's additional information, Jay, type it in, and and I'll I'll take that. Um, as far as specialty tools, when it comes to moving the safes, if you're going to be moving some of the heavier safes, they pretty much can be handled. All the gun safes and uh, 400 pounds and smaller safes could be handled with a regular refrigerator dolly um, or hand truck. Um, the bolting down of the safes, if we're talking again about the above ground, those we use hammer drills, uh, sleeve anchors, redheads, to anchor them to the concrete. If we're doing the in-the-floor installation and it's done at the time that the slab is poured, there's absolutely no tools that are necessary. Uh, the, wall, the wall safes that we sell, uh, those wall safes are just lag bolted from inside the safe into the studs of the wall. So being able to cut the drywall and install them in that manner. I don't believe there's anything special other than any specialty moving equipment should you decide to get into the larger and heavier safes. Things that weigh above 400 pounds or the larger uh, magna vaults, uh, maybe some of the bigger gun vaults as you move them into the, into the home. Uh, one advantage is uh, you guys are, have access to the homes and are usually there during the building con the construction phase. And so you'll be able to move the safes in and get them set in place prior to the furnishings and the floor coverings and everything else that might take place in the home. So that's a real advantage that you would have over the normal safe dealer. Tracy, did that answer? Oh, margins. Thank you. Um, realistically, you're looking at a, if we're talking margins, you're looking at a 35 to 45% margin, which is really um, pretty healthy. If you're talking about markups, uh, which I know there's two ways people think about their, their pricing. 
and markups. When I had my uh, retail safe dealership, uh, I would go anywhere from a, a 1.5 uh, markup to a 1.75, almost two, over my cost. So I hope that answers that question. Tracy, back to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dick. Uh, I do have a, uh, Stan does not have a question, but Stan is on the line with us, and uh, he'd like to say a few things. Stan, your phone line is now open. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. That's a lot. That's a lot of echoes. <laughs> a couple of things that I just wanted to make clear to everybody. Um, one, we found that the locksmith industry is starting to migrate into our end of the segment. They're starting to offer security by getting licensed, etc. So this is a defensible strategy for you, the dealers, one. Uh, two, uh, a couple of the more successful dealers that have piloted payment safes are also adding a reoccurring revenue component to this child-proofing safe contact of, of the gun safe itself. Uh, typically, it's three to five dollars uh, additional per month to the consumer. That's how they're positioning this. So not only do you have a front end of 35 to 45 percent margin, but you're going to realize anywhere between three to five dollars additional per month for that opening closing signal per se with the central station. So. Um, uh, also, one last statement from a distribution standpoint. As Dick stated, uh, Heyman does not provide their products through our industry, through general distribution. You will not see this at Triad, ADI, Silmer, uh, in any, any of the normal distribution channels providing you with even a thicker layer of protectivity with the product line in your margins. So just a couple of comments. That's why a lot of viewers are so excited about the product offer. Back to you, Tracy. Thank you, Stan. Uh, Dick, I do have another question. Um, we have a question regarding what are the eight states in the southeast, and uh, they want it for regarding the, the freight that you were speaking about. And Jan, I will make sure to get you a packet. We sh they should have received one in the mail, but I will get another one out to you. And I'll also open up your phone line, Jan. Jan, your phone line is open. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Uh, we, we just didn't receive a packet in the mail, and we would like to get one. Uh, we're all sitting here in the conference room, and also we were wondering what the eight states were. Okay, great. That's a good question, Jan. Um, the border states are Louisiana and Arkansas, Kentucky and Virginia. Uh, those are the border states. Everything inside that, of course, that would give us Tennessee, North and South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and the Sunshine State of Florida, which I'm sure, Stan, you want to hear that we're somewhere in around 70 degrees today. How's that? Does that answer your question? Oh. Sorry, Jan, I have put you back on mute for a minute. Okay, you need me to ask that question again, Tracy? No, no. He, uh, Dick let us know the states, and I'll make sure that I email that information over to you, and I'll make sure that your packet goes out today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Dick, we have a, uh, another question. This is from Stuart. Are there any dealer showroom accommodations uh, if we wanted to display a couple in our showroom? We, uh, we will make available to you some... Uh, uh, a, a special package if you're wanting to display something in your showroom. I want to talk with the individual dealers, find out what kind of uh, uh, mix is going to work for them. One mix is not going to work for everybody. So we need to talk about what kind of safes, what kind of homes are being built, what kind of safes would best fit into those homes, and we'll put together a package to be able to have a display in their, uh, in their showroom or in their offices uh, uh, for them. So we will definitely work with that out. Okay, great. And uh, again, from Stuart, well, they'd uh, once. When will a gun safe be available? I'd like the idea of doing uh, gun shows and taking a smaller safe and displaying the alarm.com option. 
okay, our gun safes we have available right now, the smaller of the three gun safes, uh, it, we are totally out of stock on. Um, we got uh, we had 40 of them come off the assembly line last Monday, and uh, they were I've gone by Friday. Uh, so we've got another batch that's going to be coming off the assembly line, uh, hopefully the middle to end of February. And uh, uh, those smaller ones, the 5922 is definitely a, a popular popular gun safe. The 5930 and 5939, those are 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 I guess our most popular. Uh, the 5930, and uh, we do have a good supply of those. And again, mid mid February, we have another batch coming off the uh, uh, welding line, and we'll be able to make those available as well. Great. Is that the one with the biometric hand reader? Oh, the smaller. That's the CV. If it's for the handgun, that's the CV14. Uh, those will those are uh, will be coming off of the um, uh, design table, ready for distribution in about three about three weeks. The one with the biometric reader and the setup for the handgun. In about three weeks we'll have those available. Great, thank you. Did we have any other questions? Michael Saley, I saw that you had a question earlier. Did you uh, I opened up your mic if you still have a question? We must have answered Michael's question. Um, okay. At this time, I would like to uh, turn the presentation. Uh, John would like to speak regarding the logo brochure. Okay. So I'm going to get Hi, the everyone. presenter transferred over. Go ahead. Okay. John, it's all um, yours. Yeah. On the uh, bottom bookshelf here, we're going to flip open this little small brochure. Um, this is going to be the uh, feel-good piece for you guys, for the dealers, to show the uh, housewives and uh, the home buyers, you know, without showing them the uh, the heavy steel bolts and you know bulletproof doors. Um, and this is available for you guys to use. Um, this will be uh, real advantageous, I think, in, in, in getting them interested in the concept of a safe. What we tried to do is uh, glamorize it and make it uh, much more appealing. Um, there will be a few modifications to it. As we open it up here and get into the first page, um, you can see that, you know, right at a glance, this is a piece that, you know, anyone with an upscale home uh, would not, you know, uh, wince at looking at. Um, you know, we'll uh, be adding uh, a few things to this um, as we go. Probably the number one talked about item is that uh, new uh, uh, digital uh, fingerprint read uh, single uh, gun uh, safe there for the handgun. So we may be adding that piece to it. And then as you open this up, um, you'll see that we have the gun safe in here, which is uh, going to be altered slightly because uh, understand that it was a little bit taller than what it's displayed. That's going to alter a bit. But it also, again, shows the consumer that this is not an ugly thing. This is something important. It's something you should have. And it uh, can blend right into your decor. Um, equally, on the other side, you can see it's very easy to hide a fire safe uh, inside a closet and, and not have it be intrusive or offensive to the decor. And then uh, we also in here uh, put a little statement from the manufacturer so that, um, you know, as Dick pointed out, you know, they won't be able to buy this safe as a consumer, but they can uh, certainly log in and, and learn more about the safe on the Heyman uh, website without fear of anyone uh, being losing a customer. Um, and uh, Again, these are going to be available for you guys to drop in your logo. We'll print them up for you. Uh, size on this is uh, kind of like a petite format. It's uh, 6 inches tall by 18 inches long, so that it makes a nice little piece when you present it. Um, as far as the uh, product catalog guide, um, that's available also electronically. And you guys can uh, probably have your sales force just pull it up on their uh, uh, smartphone or iPad or whatever we're using these days in front of the customer and we set that up with the retail list pricing so that you know it's uh, ready for the consumer and they can sit and look through it and decide on sizes and shapes and and the type of safe that would best fit their needs um, 
that should get you guys going on the marketing sector. I take any questions if anybody had any. Okay. Are there got, any additional questions for John or Dick? Well, I do. I oh, we do have one question from. Oh, I have a question from Rod. Rod, you please type in the audio pin so we can open up your phone line. Hold on one moment. I'm trying to get Rod's phone line open. You bet, Tracy. Rod, if you type in pound, seven, nine, pound, we'll be able to open your phone line. There we are, Rod. Your phone line is now open. Hi, thank you, Dick. This is Rod White. Thanks for the very helpful information you sent to us last week. Appreciate it much. Oh, very good. Yes, indeed, sir. Great presentation, too. Um, I'm on the western zone, and uh, do you find uh, that there are regional differences or uh, regional product targets, uh, any changes across the country uh, uh, from a marketing standpoint, or is it pretty consistent? Yes, there is some differences. We don't sell a lot of floor safes into the northeast and into the midwest where we have basements and and um, uh, two-story homes are, are very prevalent and so forth. Into the southeast and into uh, up through Texas and, uh, and the, the western states though, where we do have homes on slabs right on the ground and that's where um, the floor safes go. The floor safes are, are very, very popular. Uh, the rest of both in the southeast as well as the rest of the country, the above ground, your your Dynavolt, Magnavolt safes are are uh, uh, the, the the go to. It seems like as as the uh, populace gets older, as the as the baby boomers are getting older, we don't want to get on our hands and knees and get down to that floor safe. We want something easier to get into, and that's where the uh, Dynavolt, Magnavolt comes into play. Okay, all right. Any are there any? Uh uh, national builders that uh, our dealers have worked with that uh, have embraced this is a pretty much custom. Here to four, it's it's pretty much a custom. It's your higher end custom home. The homes that would would be uh, uh, get the jumbo mortgages that type of home, and um, I know we're seeing those homes right now on the rise. There have been some builders um, that would put this into some spec homes, but. Uh, uh, those are, are extremely um, um, small numbers, 10, 15 safes at a time is all that they're putting in. None, none, none of the big numbers that we expect. And retro installation, uh, any particular uh, points on retro installation? Uh, you know, our, our dealers have got a huge portfolio of, of uh, customers' uh, homes where they can, uh, because of relationship, they have a trust relationship. And uh, they can go back to that uh, homeowner, offer up uh, payment safe for installation. Any particular tips or anything in that regard? Well, of course, it's no it's no big issue at all when putting in the above ground. Your Dynavolt and Magnavolt, uh, very straightforward. Set the safe in place. Once you've determined the location, drill through the body of the of the safe, the floor, which the holes are already there into the concrete slab. Uh, drill your sleeve anchor, drop it in place, and tighten the nut on top. It's a, it is actually that simple to bolt the safe mm -hmm. down. The retro for the in the floor safe, that's a little more work. And um, my 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 safe retail company that I used to have, uh, we did a lot of retros where we would come in with a little jackhammer, uh, put drop cloths in the in the closet, then jackhammer through the four inch slab to dig the soil out into a bell shape that's bigger at the bottom of the hole than the hole we cut in the slab. 
pouring the live cement into the hole will set the safe and push down. As you push down, the live cement comes up the sides of the safe, locking it into the hole. Finish off that pour with the uh, surface of the floor, and your safe's installed. And boy, have I made it sound a lot simpler than it really is, because it's, it's about a four-hour process. You know, um, that's not what I, that's not the way I want to spend my my weekends, but it certainly is a uh, very doable and can be profitable with the right help. Uh, uh, charges for installing floor safes run anywhere from two hundred and twenty-five to three hundred and fifty dollars, depending on uh, geographic location. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you. I know there's a lot of questions about you know some some leaders that uh, want to get more information out to. Uh, uh, to their teams or project managers, and uh, that includes price sheets and that, so they can start bidding them in their projects. Tracy, could you comment on uh, on uh, distribution? I know we've sent out packets to all the dealers. What, what's the follow-up plan for our dealers? Are we sending PDFs out to them so they can uh, disperse it within their sales teams? Absolutely, we'll be happy. To, we'll be happy to send anyone the PDF that's interested in it, as well as again, this information is all uploaded on our AIN Group website under the Heyman Safe. In our partner section, they'll be able to use the flipbook through the AIN Group right now. But absolutely, any information that any of the any of our dealers are looking for, we'll be happy to send. Could, could and you Tracy, the uh, they can download the book right from there also. Great, and the price sheets too. Tracy, right. The the dealer I, cost sheets, Tracy. That would we have to, we would have to send to our dealers confidentially. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you send those to uh, the field managers uh, at AIN, and we can just uh, have have those uh, uh, for discretionary uh, presentation. Absolutely. Thank you. Does anyone have any further questions? Well, I thank you, Rod. And I uh, see and, and seeing and hearing no other questions, I would like to say this concludes our presentation. Thank you all very much for your time today. Dick, thank you for the great presentation. John, for your presentation as well. And we'd like to thank you on behalf of the whole staff of the AIN group. And Dick from Heyman Safe, we'd like to wish you all a great day.